good morning. Just wanted to talk a bit about another great cruising season for 2018. And I wanted to cover some of the highlights as we go into this season for um, areas around Desolation Sound and the uh, Gulf Islands, San Juan Islands. But to start with, uh, when we entered into the sailing season, it was uh, the boat was due to be hauled and have the bottom redone, paint job, pressure washed, cleaned up, and get ready for the season. 2011 was the last time it was done and it was due. So that's what Patty and I did. We uh, hauled it at Maritime Services Aaron McConnor. They had a wonderful crew there, did an excellent job pressure washing the hull. Put it on the hard and we uh, cleaned her up, got the paint on and splashed and everything looked good. Rudder was clean, uh, rudder bearing was solid, cutlass bearing was solid, the uh, prop was in good shape, uh, shaft strut was solid so we're ready for another cruising season. Okay, the uh, bottom is done. The um, bulb keel had to put um, some some uh, epoxy on it, the barrier coat, because of bare metal. Got that on. Got two coats of uh, blue hard paint and two more coats of uh, black ablative. And that's what we have on the rest of the hull is uh, black ablative. We've got the top side is all buffed out, nice and shiny. Getting ready for the season. It's pretty sharp. A lot of work. Two days worth. Rudder bearing is solid. The uh, shaft strut is good and solid. That bearing is good and solid. Got the zincs on.
season off after splashing, uh, Brett and our oldest son and his children, Brady and Katarina, came up from Texas. They want to spend two weeks on Grandpa's boat, going around the islands, some different places, which is what we did. To, so we went over to uh, Roach Harbor to celebrate the 4th of July fireworks and uh, 4th of July celebration. It was quite nice. The marina was full. The harbor was full. We had to anchor way out and dinghy in. But the Friday day was full of festivities. They had egg tosses and pie eating contests and gunny sack races and three-legged races and all sorts of stuff. We also had a blind dinghy race and a log roll contest. It's quite nice and you'll see that in the video. Then we kind of buzzed around after Roach Harbor went over to English camp toward the camp there. Kids got their ranger badges. Brett uh, Patty, we, uh, they drove down to English camp so they can get some coverage down there. Never been there before. Quite nice. And then um, they went back to Texas. It was time to go back. Uh, so we headed back. We stayed a couple different places on, on a return. We did Spencer Spit. Kids had a good time on the beach. And then off to home. Uh, Brett and the kids went off to Texas. Patty went home to take care of her sister. They're way over there. Texans? Huh? Okay. Keep it for the days when we're staying here. Okay. That's a very, very, very nice of a Can I have it? No! Oh. But I like it. Can I have it, please? No! This is for Grandma! This one might be small enough, too. I'll give you this. I'll give you this chicken leg where we can get the trees in the background. Hi. There you go. Fuck. Fuck. James, wrong way. What's your brother? What's Charlie? With a lovely red mark in his face. Oh my goodness. Can you put the toy down, please? Can you move something? Just lower it a little bit, Kat. Kat, can you just put it down, sweetheart? Yeah, there, like there, there. so you can see your set face. Okay. James. I get this face. James. One, two, three, smile. James. Okay, Dokie. Okay. I, I guess we're good. We got some. Yeah, what do you want? Wait, no, I want. Where's my camera? I'm gonna be walking on these stairs and then get to the big one and jump over there. Do you think that's smart? What happens if you can't sleep and you hit your head on the pole? Okay, I won't. What if you land on your head? I won't. What if you land on your bum? You realize there's no doctor aboard our boat, right? <clears throat> I'd hate to have to cut your leg off because okay. it's injured. Alrighty, go. Oh, okay. That was a big jump. <laughs> I can totally do better. We're playing Black Jack. And look at how many I got. And look how 21. many. 21. And look how much. 21. Look how much. 21. My turn. There's some more. You, no, you're doing it. What? You got good cards. Alright. Stand at 21. Two. What? 22 is 
Is that too many? Yeah, you got the most of Let me see. Boat. Popeye. It's a Popeye. Popeye. It's a seal. Oh boy, the royal shoe. That's fish. a fish. Fish. And that's a starfish. And he made another, another one. Another starfish. She made a little crab. Oop. Stuck together. Emily writes a princess story. Emily loves to write one day. She can be an author. She's got her computer, isn't she? Why does she want to be an author? Because she wants to learn to be an author so she can write books. Like this. See all the books over here she reads? Yeah. Yeah, she wants to can be I an see? author. Here's my next book. Part book. The one page is different. I love this kind of dog. Me a triangle. There's an island over there. I got my crew helping out here. My first mate. We're under sail. Up. Yeah, that's pretty good. We're about there. Spencer spit. <laughs> Finally, Katarina made. She decided to come up and uh, be sociable. Yes, he's stealing all our chocolates, though. Yes. He's in twice. Oh! <laughs> What's going on over there? You know, I'm going. Oh, we just like to go in circles. <laughs> oh, I feel a breeze. Okie dokie, I think we should. We did. Let's raise the sails. Here, Bob. <laughs> Roach Harbor. Good morning. We are on our way to uh, Line Bay. Rainy day in Washington. This is the uh, beginning of the 4th of July week, so there's going to be a lot of traffic today. And this whole week, I guess. Eventually headed uh, down there to Fisherman's Bay for the fireworks on the point. Big celebration. I wish someone was here to enjoy it with me. Have a great day. I love you. This is the entrance to uh, Fisherman's Bay. Pretty cliffside here. With 
Nice houses on them. It's a tricky entrance here. It's really shallow. Got to go way over there to the left. Towards the town there. Kind of a zigzag. Katarina, Katarina, look at me. Can you look at me? Okay. I'll get out first so I can hook this up. We're on our way to Roach Harbor for the celebration. Yana, 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 yana. Etc. Etc. Yana, yana. We got some crazy guy at the helm. <laughs> Try to race us.
Moss is a side logger. This happens a lot. This happens a lot. Some of them are hard boiled. <laughs> what you do is you hard boil your own and you pocket it and yeah. you do a quick swap a roux. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> and then switch them back when you win. Yeah, ex yep, there you go. <laughs> oh. oh, how did that get in there? <laughs> We need blinding race. Their plane. Oh, their plane. You got a picture? Yep. <coughs>
I like fans. Yeah, I know, I like that. I see the machine over there. It just looks like it's um, it's actually on the dock. Uh-huh. From, um, from, yeah, that's on the dock. That's on the dock. It's on the barge.
making it interesting meant running it. And so I'm going to do that right now. <laughs> and how long did it take you to get to that, get to that state? It was um, eight months, about one, one week every month for eight months. Um, I didn't really set out to get it running. I, uh, I just started tinkering with it to see if I could free it up. And I had so many, so many people come by and they're like, oh, when are you going to get it going? <laughs> arr, arr, arr. And then and trying to crack jokes. I just started saying, 4th of July. <laughs> and I didn't tell the boss. The rumor went all over the island. And then the boss came to me and said, I'm hearing all this talk about 4th of July. <laughs> like, well, what do you think? <laughs> so I did get it going on the 4th. I cut a lot of corners, and so it doesn't uh, run that well. Uh, and the, uh, this is the governor portion. It's, uh, it controls the speed. I'm not really going to be able to walk away from it much. You're welcome to walk around the engine, stay away from the turning wheels. Um, but if you have questions, I'm going to have to stay mostly stationary. You can come up and ask if you want. I'll run it for about 10 or 15 minutes. Okay, are we all clear? Yep, we're clear. Garrison Bay. I want to get a nice close-up of that San Juan badge. And then there's this one here. Cool. <clears throat> that is a loon calling. Isn't that what that is? Oh.
Yeah. And the lots of back going out. Yeah, they're good wiggling. Yeah. See them? They're crawling right there at the yeah. entrance. No, bats are good. Bats eat insects. Yeah, no, 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 Skipper, we headed out to join up and do a rendezvous with Colin and a new crew to our flotilla, Amy Fleet, uh, Tom Burgess from Atlanta, Georgia. And he was on his Dana 24. So I headed north, cleared at White Rock, uh, stayed at Semiamu, then cleared at White Rock, and then uh, I headed across to rendezvous with them. They were in Pirate's Cove, went up through Portier Pass. And then from there went up into Nanaimo, did the dinghy dock pub race, and covered a number of places uh, up north. We uh, went throughout uh, Desolation Sound, hit a number of new places there uh, covered in the video. And then uh, I, it was time for me to start heading back home. Uh, Tom Burgess and Colin, they headed north. They were going up into the Broughtons. Uh, Tom's son was coming in from Atlanta. He was coming in by float plane to join up with him uh, at Echo Bay and uh, do a one-week cruise with uh, Tom and Colin and so forth. So hopefully we'll get some pictures to incorporate into this uh, DVD and had a great time. Uh, see a lot of the places that we hadn't been before, some new places, and you'll see that in the video. A beautiful sail out here, clear blue sky. Left Eagle Harbor this morning, heading for Sandown. Been on our sail here for quite a while. A little quality out, not too bad. 11 to 15 to 17 mile an hour apparent wind. Punch along here, five, six knots. Enjoying the sunset. It's quite nice. Good evening. Rolling around on that inlet. Just got through eating with Colin Banks. We had uh, fresh oysters. <laughs> Fried, oh my god, they were unbelievable. And uh, red crab. <laughs> uh, needless to say, it's pretty good. There's a uh, floating house in the back of a net. Inlet. Beautiful evening. Wish you guys were here.
came into Pirate's Cove last night rendezvoused with Morningstar, uh, Dana 24, skippered by Tom Burgess. And then on the other side of him is Wasail with Colin here in Pirate's Cove. There's an old Dana 24 out there in Bellevue. And then there's Wasail kind of pointing at us. Tom and Colin are offshore walking, and we just came ashore and going to make a deposit at the Pirates Cove treasure chest. It's a treasure chest right there, Pirates Cove, trash and trinkets. You're supposed to take something over, and you can remove something or exchange something. Not sure what's in there these days, but kind of interesting. Well, that, that radio looks familiar. I think Colin made that this morning. There's some toys and books and crayons and beads and all sorts of stuff, all kinds of treasures. Kids would have liked to have seen this. Nation people. But the tourists out there for family. Not even synchronized. They're great. There's a nice looking boat. Need to get a better crew. Okay, there's Colin and Tom and I. We're here at the Dingy Dock Club, just having a grand old time. July the 18th. Okay. Very good. Have you had enough of this? The race has started. Thank <laughs> you. 
<laughs> think we got eight boats. Blind mice. <laughs> anyway, we're headed north pretty morning. That's, that's Terry up there in the lead boat right there, and that's Colin over there, and the uh, Green Pacific Sea Craft. Uh, Terry's is a hunter, 42 foot. Collins is a 34 foot Pacific Sea Grant. 1993, I think it is. I think uh, Terry's is a Unfortunately, the wind is right on our nose, so we're having to bash into it. It'd be nice if we can get off and sail a little bit more, but we're trying to get there. Way over there to those islands, you see, way across. <laughs> anyway, uh, check back in the day. I okay, almost lost my, my uh, fuel can. Not my uh, fuel, but my gas can for my dinghy. I had to tie it on back here. Just about lost. Anyway, good morning. You guys are having a nice Saturday. We'll see you here. Oh, it's lumpy out here. We left uh, Horsewell Channel coming out of Nanaimo, and uh, Tom is back there. Ways, calling it way back there. Uh, we're doing 18, 19, 23, 24 mile an hour winds. Much along here, five and a half, six and a half knots. It's really lumpy, so, but it's pretty nice. Delvi is doing a nice job. Just change tacks. Heading for Secret Cove. Got winds coming out of the southwest, 11 to 13, 14. Puts along here about five and a half knots. Gorgeous day, warm, pretty nice. A little bit close to the reef, but it's not too bad. It's normally covered by water at high. I got some lovely oysters over there. Very tempting, but um, might get uh, the locals uh, upset if we were to go over and partake. And then kind of over there you can see there's um, three turkey vultures are overfeeding on something. And then there's a fourth one circling overhead looking for a place to land. I'm not sure what they're eating, but I'm sure it is quite tasty, whatever that is. 
There's Colin up there, way over there, way over there, being antisocial. By the Secret Cove Marina. Nice little place, went over there yesterday in the general store. And then we've got Tom over here in his boat, Dana 24, Dana 24. Quite nice. And then there's the entrance over there. We're going to head to Pender Harbor, Garden Bay, about 10 miles to the north. Should be a nice sail up. Down to 24, and skipper is Tom Burgess. <laughs> Lots of strings. Yeah. Tom, um, who uh, looks bloated. Yeah, <laughs> it feels bloated. <laughs> Oi! <laughs> That's a long way. Don't point that at me, it might go off. <laughs> <laughs> Come down the side. I don't know. Where are you going? Hi, this is actually Angela. Denise. All right. Yes. So. Sort of. I'm Terry. Hi, Terry. Hi, 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 Colin. Hi. Nice to meet you. Yeah. Hey. Look at you. Welcome, sailors. This is wonderful. <laughs> oh, it's been. How's the Admiral doing? It's been two years. Three. Three. No kidding. Fifteen it was. Oh, I thought it's two years. <laughs> well, it was fifteen in July, so it's pretty... Uh, yeah. <laughs> now, uh, I can hug all of you. Just leave that side alone. Okay. 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 I'm a little <laughs> I don't I broke something in there. It's now three weeks, almost a month. But it's getting better every day. Good. Yeah, every good. Day. Very good. Yeah, very good. Fun, I, I understood what they were doing, but I, I didn't know what you were doing. You don't need a sailing mate. I have a one here. <laughs> oh, there's one for everybody. <laughs> hey, there's a two seat. There was a fade war right along. Oh, oh. <laughs> Good Lord, yeah. Just like <laughs> this. <laughs> Nobody would have known. Peter yeah. and the Freder would have not Never known. known. He would have not known. Yeah. It's just that hearing that rumble. I didn't really, I had a, back, a lower back injury, and so um, I really couldn't lift it out for the winter. And so it stayed in the water for the winter, and it might have even had um, something in the input or in, you know, the intake, yeah. like barnacles, or I don't know. I don't know what it was, but um, my brother-in-law just took it off. I guess. Well, he had a look at it. He, he took it for a day, and um, he got new uh, spark plugs put in, and um, uh, I think he had to look at the carburetor yeah. and uh, put in... No, I had done my own oil change again, second year. Mm -hmm. <laughs> yeah, so I know how to do that, but um, he just said it maybe it needed a tune-up, and it may have had something. Okay, this is a... Uh, you can take the man in the moon, then. Called the monkey flower. Mm-hmm. Um, so, let's see. You can smell the yeah. scent of the flowers yeah. in here. Yeah. Very oh, strong. Just a wonderful scent. Yeah. And I'm going to make oh, it. I, I haven't checked the bilge. And right. since any of you want to step in the boat and check my bilge, I will. Yeah. If everything it's open. is okay, yeah, okay. and I show you how to get in. Underneath the table, you see there's a little hatch. Yeah. Uh -huh. You lift that up, and then you can see. The bilge pump down there. Okay. And if everything looks okay, you close it again. Okay, and I can I'll check the pump to make sure that it's working. Um, then you have to go where the electric panel is oh. and put it on on um, manual. Oh, okay. And dump it on on automatic. Okay. okay? All right. Very nice. Yeah. Forty years old. Forty? 
Nice little bee birth, and so I've got some uh, heads in here, and cool. Uh, Seagull. He got a quack. I, well, that's my son. He gave it to me from a house, but it's kind of <laughs> handy to see. <clears throat> yeah. Very nice. <laughs> So you're getting it all rigged up? Um, it is rigged up, but um, somebody said um, that new sailboats that whoever, like when we got it on, it was put on the same. Uh, it looks like it could be rotated though. You can, and then it might be correct. Yeah. Well, the uh, shroud uh, attachment is on the Yeah. It's an excursion vessel, Malibu. Nice looking vessel. He left the backs on too, so we get crab butter, <laughs> spaghetti, and spaghetti sauce, and chocolate, and this is an evening star. Quite cozy. Nice. This will make it today. Well, it'll be kind of hard, won't it? Back and forth. But why? Well, just over your head. Well, it's just so tear is dingy. Rather than dirty another pan. Well, it's going to take two seconds. Cool. All right. Want to so. put another one on here? Okay. Just. So there's one. Don't smash. Two. <laughs> Me. Son. And she. <laughs> We're having spaghetti on evening star. Sus, sausages. Oh, <laughs> looks delicious. You're eating, right? Yes, sir. Uh, yeah. Okay. Yeah. I cooked the linguine instead of the... Spaghetti, so sorry about that. Bangles and mash. Oh, it's not mash, but it's close enough. Okay. It's Italian mash. Okay. Bangles and Italian mash. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Italian mash. That's funny, we all went skiing in Italy and we sat there to get this plate of plain spaghetti. Let me reach behind you one second, lean forward. So the last minute of all to end the whole session is there was a young fella from Lee who was stung on the neck by a wasp. When asked did it hurt, he said no, not very much, he can do it again if it likes. I found my crib sheet and it's all these lead-ins to a joke. I don't remember any of the effing jokes. Um, <laughs> jokes. <laughs> <laughs> well, there was a young fellow from Kent. That's where I come from. There was a young fellow from Kent whose tool was exceedingly bent. To save him the trouble, he put it in double. Instead of coming, he went. There was a young boy who could make a lasso with his finger. Cowboy. Or a cowboy who could make a lasso. Oh, you've got the emphasis. This is what left of Colin's chicken special. It's a uh, dead chicken. <clears throat> with potatoes and onions and tomatoes and 
etc. All kinds of stuff, plus a special soup from Belle V. <laughs> Not much left, some leftovers. Had a grand meal on uh, Wassail. And there's a skipper. And hey, oh, old chap, what the hell is going on? And he has some, something special to say. <laughs> a young couple. They just got married, they're tired with life in the city. They go out to the, the little village, a beautiful sea, uh, scene of the countryside, and they go to the real estate. And he says, well, they said they want to buy a, a, re a real remote farmhouse. And the guy says, oh, I think I know the, the farmer. He wants to sell his house. So they go to the farmhouse, and um, the uh, farmer shows the guy all around the barns and the, fa the machinery and everything. And the uh, farmer's wife shows the lady all around the farmhouse yeah, what's, what's in the farmhouse and this and that. And they really like it, they have a discussion, they really like this farmhouse and this, the area is lovely. And as they're leaving, the wife says, well, we didn't see the outhouse. Oh, well, come with me. So they, they waddle through this farmyard full of manure and stuff. They go up this hill, and there's this um, there's this outhouse on the hill, and it has a plank with a hole in it and everything. And uh, she says, "Oh, okay, well, all right." But there's no lock on the door. She, the farmer says, "Madam, I've been a man and boy, and we've never had a bucket of shit stolen yet." <laughs> View from the cockpit. A little hot out there, so I'll have to come inside a little bit. Background back there are the mountains of Jervis Inlet, going back to Princess Louise. Incredibly beautiful place. I don't think we'll make it there. It's a 40 mile trip back up in there. Sure, we'd like to make it with one of you guys, or all of you guys. But you gotta come here first, you know. Sorry about that. There we go. About as calm a morning as you can get out here. Over there, a lot of people doing some fishing. Salmon are really going right now. We're coming into Pender Harbor. Garden Bay will be off up ahead to the left. We'll spend the night here. It's very nice. We've been in here a number of times before. Very nice anchorage and uh, hopefully it won't be too busy. Uh, we'll see. And there's the uh, Garden Bay General Store over there. Nice little store. Right there. Well, Tom is right there in Garden Bay. And Colin is looking for a place to drop. Lots of choices. Not many boats in here, oddly enough. Area. Tom and we just finished a delicious Cinearios bad. <laughs> one of the bigger one. The bigger uh water, right? 
Now Tom is doing a stellar job of um, helping me stitch our head sail. I worked on it for a while until the sun kind of got to me and Tom stepped in and helped out and looks like we're done and we'll get it back up and stowed and time for something. Maybe he'll toot his horns again. <laughs> he must have about six different horns. Whistles and tutors and what have you. This one's a majestic work boat. Now it's just sitting here at a morning ball in humility. Lovely boat. Like the architecture. Garden Bay. That boat that had all those tutors that uh, he did a nice demonstration for uh, my video. Uh, I think it was the Midnight Sun. Probably some sort of an excursion vessel. But quite nice. On our way to Sturt Bay. This is the uh, Sturt Bay Lagoon, and we're coming up on uh, higher water, where um, the uh, tide water will reach uh, into the lagoon and fill up the lagoon, and that's it. About every day, twice a day maybe, fills it, tide goes out, shuts things off, and there's a little bit of water coming from the lagoon from this morning, but um, it will start to fill up here shortly again. And there are one or two oysters over there. Just one or two. Oh, it's amazing how thick they are there. Just a blanket. We're back here in the uh, back area of Sturt Bay Lagoon, way back in here, um, still filling up different parts of it, but way back in, they're supposed to hook up with a creek, Sturt Creek, I guess, so we'll see. Now these lilies have a, an extraordinary aroma. It's, uh, several stems here with uh, blossoms. Gorgeous. Lots more to come. Wish I could capture the aroma. There's 
Terry. We're going through a little cut here in uh, Copeland Islands. This guy, I think, is our Uncle Terry's brother. I mean, he is exactly like him. <laughs> He's the next Navy guy and uh, tight as Terry, <laughs> organized as Terry, and as friendly as Terry. He's a super nice guy. And there's Colin in front of him. Colin, <laughs> he's just wandering through here. He's having a good time. Wonderful fellow to be with. Absolutely will slow you down. <laughs> I mean, in a good way. Here we go. Have a great day. Good being star, we're going up full and pass. Those are the Copelands in the background. Colin is just up ahead. A line of boats headed to the Desolation sound. Darn. <laughs> Come behind the back there. Anyway, just wanted to show you all the different boats that are headed north. And or south. I guess some of them are going home. Bunch of them. you some uh, nice homes in case any of you feel so inclined to buy me one. <laughs> or you can buy it for yourself. I'll up here take it for you. No charge. Pretty nice places <laughs> and pretty good views. Let me know just in case I need to go contact them. So again, I just wanted to put another perspective here. here. Coming around the bend here. I can do a better job this time. But it's a little hazy. Can't really see all the mountains in the back. Hopefully it'll rain sometime. One time we wish it would rain. It is so hot, so hazy, and no wind. And there's Colin. And we're getting ready to head to the right down over there where Terry is. Oki over inlet. Raven chirping over there. We're in Susan Islet, right at the entrance of, to Theodosia Inlet. Very nice in here, good anchorage. A little shallow, but we're just coming off of a little water and I dropped in 15 feet of water. So it's not too bad. Tom's right there and Colin hasn't come in yet. He's uh, kind of slow. Here he comes now. Colin found a spot. Looks pretty nice in there. Got, still got some breeze.
some merganser over there with uh, one, two, three, four, she got quite a bunch of chicks. <laughs> quite, quite a brood. Okay, we came in from uh, there up above, uh, <coughs> down Malaspina Inlet. And um, we're here in an anchorage suggested by Colin called Cochrane, Cochrane Island. <clears throat> Very nice little place. Well, plenty of room, good anchorage, good holding. And there's Tom over there. And there's Colin over there in Wassail. I'm not mistaken, I think those in the background are the Bunster Hills. Could be wrong. Anyway, further south in Malaspina, as you get down into Okeover Inlet. Colin is perched over there. It gets very quiet. We've been kind of puttering around the island shore here, or the peninsula shore. And uh, lots of fry in the water. And. Uh, Heard a loon call this morning. Quite nice. Just looking north up into the uh, towards the entrance of Malaspina Inlet, and um, when when you head south into the inlet, um, maybe about halfway down, but before you get to Oki over is the Cochain, I guess that's how you pronounce it, island group on the peninsula side or the right side or starboard side. Anyway, this, we've been anchored in here a couple of days. Very nice, quiet, clean water because it gets lots of um, tidal action. Very quiet in here. There's only four boats. We're just the three of us and then another sailboat came in over there and we got a paddle border, which is a kind of a popular sport. <coughs> They're in that boat over there. There's Evening Star, Tom's boat. He's over visiting with Colin right now. I might head over that way. So we're on wassail, and Colin has cooked up some liver and onions. I have not had liver and onions in probably a hundred years. Ah, yum. I hope so. Thank you. So, what do we have to say about that? I think we'll find out. Whether it goes down, and we can keep it down. <laughs> That's Refuge Cove. I don't need fuel. Colin needed fuel, and so did Tom. And uh, so um, they're done. They're going to head over to... Squirrel Cove, so that's where I'm going to go, and um, all I need is some sugar and some creamer, and Tom said he would pick some up while he's up at the store, so anyway, heading over to Squirrel Cove. <clears throat> well, this is the last night the Fortella stays together for the past few weeks. We're in Squirrel Cove on Cortez Island and that's Tom's boat over there, Evening Star. Tom and Colin, they're heading north. They're going up, um, Tom is picking up his son Echo Bay here on the 15th. Today is August the 2nd, our 49th anniversary. And um, so they're going to head north 
pick up their son then some, spend some time around the Broughtons. And Bill V and I were heading south, heading back home. <coughs> and um, we've been out for quite a while, but it's time to, uh, time to head home. Very quiet night, very nice. Overcast, comfortable, very nice. That was Marilyn's place several years ago. She cooked up um, traditional First Nation style salmon and fry bread lunches. And um, But it's been closed up for a few years. They moved this house in there. and So I don't know what's going on there, but that's what's left of it. Very nice place once upon a time. Here we are in uh, Squirrel Cove tonight. And it's uh, Thursday night, the 2nd. Uh, Terry right there is leaving us tomorrow. Colin right there and I are headed north. Anyways, busy little lit anchorage here. Full of boats. This little shack over here is where sometimes an uh, Indian lady makes um, uh, smoked salmon uh, the traditional Indian way and makes a, a fry bread of some type. It's like a, some type of bread they make. Comes out here and sells it to the uh, boaters, but not doing it this year, I guess, or even, or at least right now. Nice big trawler. Anyway, we say goodbye to Terry tomorrow. It's been fun. He's a great guy. Wonderful person to be around. Uh, great family. You know, wonderful sailor. Very generous person. Anyway, we'll miss him. Hope to get together with them again. Have a nice evening. Uh, getting ready to leave. Here from Squirrel Cove, going to head north. See you, Tom. Have a nice, uh, safe trip. Yeah, it was a pleasure meeting, sir. Yep. Thank you for your generosity. And your well, thank you. And <coughs> when you uh, keep in touch, let me know what you guys are doing. And I will. When you get love back. To get, love to get together again. Yeah, let's get, uh, when you guys get back. Well, um, absolutely. All righty. We will. Thank you so much for everything. You're very Appreciate welcome. It, Terry. Thank you. Had a great time with you. Yep. Do it again. No Have a good one, buddy. You too. Be safe going home. Yep. Morning again. Here we are entering uh, Lewis Channel. Going north up there where that mountain is way back in the background. And that's Colin over there. Terry is headed south. Anyway, beautiful morning as you can see. Pretty nice scenery. We got again 20 miles or so. And should be a nice ride. Yeah, good afternoon. Um, here we have a gold mine. Old one. I want to go in. Hopefully there's not a bear in there. I got my bear spray ready. Oh, 
oh my goodness. He goes way back in there. It's a little spooky. Let's see if I can turn on the light. I don't think so. Okay, I will turn it off and go back, get my light out and then do it. Good morning. We're entering a uh, Beware Channel and over there is an abandoned Indian village. Back there on the walls, a bunch of uh, pictographs, uh, paintings. I couldn't get close enough to, for you to see them, but that's the old village right there. And the white beach you see is called a midden beach. Midden is uh, the uh, shells that are discarded from the um, from all their uh, the collection of clams and oysters, and they, they just threw them back on the beach, and they, they became what they call midden beaches. That's the uh, you see the old houses. We're going up a channel called Beware Channel, and you can see why. It's a lot of rocks and a lot of rocks you can't see. Anyway, we're um, we're not going far, only about four miles into what they call Beware Cove. So it should be nice and. Um, I'll take some pictures as we go down through here. Hope you're having a wonderful day. I love you. Good afternoon. Out rowing again. And beware cove. Beautiful little place. Con and I are anchored over there. Got a little island. Looks like it's between us. Where we're actually behind it. <laughs> it's a beautiful little cove. No one here. I'm getting ready to go explore this island I'm um, at right here. It's called Cook Island. I'm gonna get out and go for a walk. There's an eagle. There's actually two of them over there. And you can hear some ravens calling. Exploring this little island here, but about all I can do is explore the coast because um, or the shoreline. Yeah, there is hardly any way to get in there. As you see, it's solid. It's, you think it, it, back in there you could get some clearing, but I, so far I can't find it. Tide's coming in, I gotta be careful because I won't be able to get back to my boat here in just a second. <laughs> Anyway, if I find a way and I'll show you what it looks like inside there. Pretty right here though. morning again. Here we are uh, rounding uh, the Broken Islands, which are these right here. 
rounding the point, entering Johnstone Straits in a very calm condition. Wonderful. A nice breeze. We might be able to sail down the straits. It's looking north there, or uh, west actually. Looks uh, like some rain that way. Other than that, beautiful day, beautiful morning. And uh, there's Colin. And we're headed that way. Not sure how far yet. We're going to see how we do. At least Port Neville. Maybe farther. Have a great morning. Afternoon for you guys now, I guess. <laughs> Good morning. Sunday morning. We're going to head it up uh, Tribune Channel. Nice, beautiful, foggy morning. It's uh, probably in the 50s temperature wise and we're headed to a place called Quatsy Bay with Joseph and uh, Colin and just wanted to show you these are very high mountains but you can't uh, you're seeing just the bottom because of the fog it's really pretty There's Joseph down there, man in the helm. Good morning. Here we are at uh, Quatsy Bay. Joseph's sitting on, chilling out, watch, looking out over the bay. Look, here's the view he has. <laughs> yeah, looking out, fun. yeah. We're we're here for two nights, and uh, uh, it's a pretty place. Got some big walls, but unfortunately can't see them right now because of the fog. We're over on a little island we we're hoping to explore, but I don't know if that we can because it's a little um, dense. <laughs> anyway, say hello, Joseph. Oh, come on. Hello. Good picture. Did you have something to say to your children and your wife? Well, we're glad we didn't get eaten by a bear. Oh, oh. <laughs> come on. That's why we're on the island. Yeah, what else? <laughs> No, I love you. Here. Yeah, there you go. We, and we would need a little bigger boat. <laughs> <laughs> well, I'll tell you, I love you guys. Love you too. <laughs> yeah. Absolutely. Hope you have a wonderful day. Wish you guys were here. We'll go ahead and put the shoes. Well, good morning. Uh, it's uh, Saturday morning, day after Joseph's birthday. We let him off yesterday. Today he's got to work. <laughs> <laughs> and uh, he is now getting ready to dive, Collins. Boat, we think we may have some uh, rope around uh, or something around this prop. And Joseph has volunteered as such a most fine gentleman <laughs> to help us all out. And we're going to see if he can really stand this water. You be careful. You want a safety line on? Oh, uh, let's hold on a second. Is Joseph going under? Oh, yeah. Good job, Justin. You got your own film here. Huh? On your own film. <laughs> I okay. wish you guys could see how cold it is under this. <laughs> it's freezing. Relax. Huh? 
It's all gone. It's all gone? Yeah. Oh my God. Can we God, my head is cold. Close, close an eye. Close an eye. Relax. Close that eye. I'll close it for you. Me. <laughs> okay. I, I got it. I got it. Well, good afternoon. We are back in Sunderland Channel. Left uh, Johnstone Straits behind. Back there. Past Neville. Decided to keep going. Got great conditions. Going in on a flood tide. Got the wind behind our backs. And got the prospect of maybe two nights in the same anchorage. Ford Harbor, which was one of our favorites. One of the prettiest ones we went into. And we're getting a great sail in. So, can't complain. Wish you guys were here to join us. Coming into um, Boogie Bay, really pretty. Looks like we may have it to ourselves. Going right back in there. Pretty mountains right over here. Got some big walls. Looks like it'd be fun to scramble around in. Wish you guys were here to dip. Maybe next year. <laughs> Love you. Good morning. It is uh, Friday. Um, and we are leaving. Lagoon Cove, going to a place called Potts Lagoon. Anyway, that's looking up uh, another little channel this morning with a little bit of fog left. Looking back, Colin and Lagoon Cove. Pretty little place. Headed out. down that way not very far we got gale wind warnings for this evening so this afternoon so we're gonna hide out in a place that will protect us from it so uh, we're headed around the corner not but about six miles or so Fishing, maybe. I'll take some film when we get there. Have a great day. Good morning. Here we are on. Uh, I'm not sure what morning this is. This is this is Craig's birthday. It's the 28th. Yippee! Happy birthday, Craig. Anyway, we are headed uh, south. <laughs> I'm not sure what destination today. Maybe Port Neville. But it's a beautiful morning. As you can see, it's a little misty. And we are headed uh, out of Boogie Bay. Going to head out into Johnstone Straits in a few minutes. Uh, actually, in about an hour. But it uh, should be a nice nice ride down. Hopefully we'll have a little bit of wind. And um, right now we don't have any. But uh, out there there's normally a lot of wind. So anyway, headed south. Looking for sunshine maybe today. We'll see. Anyway, 
Happy birthday, Craig. Hope you have a wonderful day today. I love you. And uh, you guys have fun. Afternoon again. Looking up uh, Call Inlet. It's about uh, 3.30 right now. And this is uh, Bowie or Bowie Bay. I'm not sure how to pronounce it. Pretty. Headed up here to um, Chatham Channel, which is a real narrow place. Up in this hole up here, it turns left, and it's really high currents, but anyway. I'll take some film when we get up there. There's Mr. Colin. Over there, just cruising along. He, this is his feet. Right now, we're going like a, sorry about that, 4.2 knots. Anyway, it's hard to drive and film too. Good afternoon. Here we are entering uh, Potts Lagoon. Took ourselves back in here like that sailboat is way out there in the distance. Let's see if we can't get out of the wind here a little bit, which is starting to build. A little place. Wind's coming from out there. Nice little place to get in here and do some exploring with a dinghy. Lots to see. Be here for tonight and then heading a little farther north tomorrow. A great day. Love you. Douglas Cove, Ford Harbor, 7 a.m. Beautiful side of the channel. Sorry, had to adjust court. Anyway, all these real rough seas we have. Take a look back at the anchorage. It was full last night. Lots of people in. A lot of them have already left, catching the whirlpool tide. I mean, uh, rapids that are run outside the um, uh, harbor here. We're going to go right, though. We don't have to go through them this morning. Headed to Port McNeil, about a three-hour jaunt out into the Johnstone Strait, so hopefully it's calm. We'll see when we get out there in a little while. And I will be back with you. Hope you guys have a wonderful day. Love you.
afternoon. I wanted to show you uh, an abandoned Indian village. Uh, the white beaches you see there are actually shells. It's called a midden beach. And that's an abandoned Indian site there. Uh, the, the white is from the shells. Uh, you know, they collected the clams and the, um, they discarded them right there on the beach. And that's, that's how they know where the Indians lived. And uh, it's a flat area. It's facing the sun. Um, anyway, that's, a, that's an old Indian village right there. It's called Mitilpi. Or M I T I L P I. I don't know how they pronounce it, but anyway, I'd go back in there and explore it. But we're headed up to um, the bay at the head of this inlet here, it's called Boogie Bay. Got the sails out for once. Well, the sail. Anyway. Sorry about that. Anyway, it's a pretty day. Have a great one. Good morning again. This is the entrance to Raza, R A Z A Inlet. That's Raza Island right there. And that over there where that power boat's coming in. Butte Inlet. Straight above us or ahead of us is uh, Euclidal Rapids. You see a little white specks way up there. Good morning. Yo guys, you wanna own a pub, restaurant, way back in the mountains. Here you go, that's for sale. He's a little work. Got a dock out there. But there's not a whole lot of traffic. <laughs> As you can see, there's uh, one sailboat way back up the channel. And then me and Colin. That's it. But he does have advertising. There you go. In traffic. Went up here to Cordera Anchorage to wait for uh, slack tomorrow for Greenpoint Rapids. Um, and that's pretty much the last part. Last rapids. We're going to transit. Anyway, you're having a wonderful day. Good morning. Headed back to uh, Sturt Bay and, and the sunshine there is a humpback. You can see it just below just then. Um, kind of hard to see probably for y'all here. Right in the, in the sunshine there. Uh, they move into the left side. Good afternoon. Uh, we are headed to uh, an inlet called Von Dollop Inlet. Headed back down into Desolation Sound area. Hence all the pretty mountains again. And 
Anyway, it's a beautiful day. I hope y'all are having a great Labor Day weekend. That's looking up Butte Inlet, which is supposed to be a pretty place to go. We're not going there this time. Maybe next time. Have a great afternoon. Good morning to you. It's Tuesday morning. We're headed uh, south to uh, maybe Pirates Cove or Clam Bay in the Gulf Islands. We go through Dodnarrows here in about an hour. Leaving the Nimo. Pretty stay. It's beautiful at nighttime, all the lights in the city. Very busy. Airplanes, tugs, people, taxis going back and forth constantly. Big ships, log rafts. Mountains of BC over there. And there's Marks Bay, that's where we stayed last night. Hope you guys have a wonderful day. Love you. Quite nice out here. Just a different angle shot of uh, under sail, five and a half knots, 11 to 13 mile an hour winds. It's gorgeous out here. Not many boats either. Just heading for Secret Cove. I'm about an hour away or five miles. So, should be there in about an hour. Here at Eagle Harbor, coming to the end of the cruise, getting ready to head home here in a, maybe tomorrow, and uh, got some empty mooring balls here, which is kind of surprising. I came in early this morning from Echo Bay, and uh, I expected it to be full. Pelican Beach was packed, and I thought Echo Bay would be too, come around the corner, and huh, several empty mooring balls. I'm not sure why, but worked out great. I got my favorite spot, which is the uh, furthest into the bay. One of those low profile tire type mooring balls. Great. Well, it's lunchtime. I mean, here in Eagle Harbor. And uh, kind of uh, coming to the end of a cruise. And I'm having one of my favorite dishes, my coronary clogger. Yum. Can I corned beef hash, four scrambled eggs, and uh, several slices of Colby Jack cheese. Yummy. We just entered the uh, north entrance to Swinomish Channel, sailed across from Cap Sandy after getting uh, 30 gallons of fuel. A lot less than I thought, but that's okay. Sailed across to the channel and changed tacks. Uh, nice Northwesterly breeze, butts along here about five, six knots. So hopefully we'll sail all the way to uh, 
Shelter Bay. The swinging bridge is open for transit. That's a good thing. Hopefully it won't close before I get there, but we're just about there. Anyway, Hudson Long here about five knots. Nice ebbing two pl or excuse me, flooding two plus knot current. And um, gorgeous day. Nice job on the fencing replacement. A lot of money. Long overdue. I don't know when they're going to do the bridge. 